Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today and uh, out on a little ride out um, today. It's not the warmest of days. The sun's sort of sticking his head out every now and then, but it's saying about 12 degrees on here. It does feel a little bit colder. Heated grips are on. <laughs> but there you go. Yep. Hello, sir. Another fellow biker out enjoying the sun when it comes out. Well, the dry weather anyway. Anyway, purpose of the video today, just a quick video, just to uh, discuss my year and a half's ownership of the, the Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. And, uh, you know, my thoughts on it up, up, to, uh, up to now, really. What a pleasant little village we're going through here. One of the old British foam uh, boxes there. Looked a bit worse for wear. They, they tend to put defibs in there now. So, uh, yeah, they're no longer foam boxes, but they put defibrillators in there. Which is, uh, yeah, a good idea. Anyway, I'll diverse. So, yeah, main purpose of the video today is we discuss sort of like what my, what my thoughts are of, uh, you know, consider it sort of a year and a half of ownership of the bike and, you know, whether I've had any issues or, you know, my, my the little things that annoy me maybe, the things I love about the bike. And there's not really a lot not to like about the bike, to be honest. Um, as a whole, loads of room there. <laughs> but yeah, you know, my, my in general, so it's been a uh, you know a, a great all-round bike up till now, and uh, can't grumble at all. You know, she every time I take her out, she gives me. Uh, I keep referring to her as a she, but I, I have no, you know, no, uh, no problems. Not, not had any issues. N not let me down. Uh, the running in process was very. Uh, you know, I soon clocked up my. I think it was 600 miles, all in all. And then I had the first service done, which I think Triumph actually covered the cost of the labour. All I paid for was the uh, the cost of the parts which was really uh, sort of oil and filter and that type of thing. Um, I generally, as a whole, I... Obviously, I check my tyre pressure, it's quite regular. Uh, check the tyres. Check the chain, the sprockets. I have had to adjust the chain. Not too much, really, considering. I mean, uh, some bikes you ride or own, that's all you ever seem like you're doing is adjusting the chain and sprockets, but been pretty good on this one so I'm on the original tyres as well which are the Pirelli Super Courses and they're very sticky especially in uh, in the dry when you've got a bit of heat into them when it's uh, you know when the roads are damp which I don't sort of tend to go out in the wet anyway but obviously they're not they're not as sticky but still good nevertheless but but yeah, she handles absolutely gorgeous. No, no problems there. She's great fun. She's got lots of performance there, being the 765cc uh, triple. So uh, she's fairly smooth. Sort of get the best of both worlds, really. Sounds lovely. Quick shifter and blipper. No issues with no issues with that. When I was running the bike in. She was a little bit clunky now and then, but you know, it's probably as can be expected. Uh, but yeah, no issues now with that. Um, I have had it before with it's disabled in the in the menu there. It's called Triumph Shift, Shift Assist TSA. And it has actually disabled itself in there. I don't know what happened, but I went out on the bike, the bike wasn't shifting very well. Um, and I went into the menu there and uh, re-enabled that. And that, 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 that obviously that sort the problem out. It's not happened again. Maybe that's just a one-off, or maybe I even turned it off by mistake when I was messing about with the menu. There, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, enough of that. Suspension. So it's got Olin's on the rear, shower on the front, and it's fully adjustable. However, I've not adjusted it. I've not needed to adjust it. Uh, I, I think it's fine uh, standard straight out, straight from the, uh, you know, the the the, the factory no issues 
it's not too hard not too soft just perfect for me for what i want anyway and i've not been on the track with it yet which that's something that i may be contemplating doing in the future we'll see uh, but maybe i'll uh, stiffen the suspension up a little bit um, i don't know you'll have to see how you go with it but uh what else have i done heated grips i've put them on they're on they're on now i fitted them myself i bought them direct from uh, triumph i think they were about 250 pounds um obviously it would have been a, uh, you know the labor as well for fitting if i'd had them fit them but i decided to have a go at that which to be honest was reasonable if you're any good with the tools well you don't really need to be um brilliant but they, they weren't too bad to fit um fitting them performance wise the grips yeah they're, they're not they're not too bad they're not brilliant though i think maybe uh the aftermarket ones would probably perform just as well if not better i don't know uh, there's several other companies out there what made them but I, I chose these because they were obviously you know uh, the compatible you've got the light comes on on here for your different uh, heat temperatures but i generally just leave it on the hottest one uh what else can i tell you oh hello sir chucking up loads of dust and shit there uh yeah another thing what let's go on to uh, annoyances like i say there's not much uh one of them being the dash it keeps flicking between day and night generally during the daytime especially when it's overcast saying that it doesn't seem we've done it today um so that's not really too much of a problem but another thing is the rev counter it's very difficult to see the rev counter on this you can go in the tft and uh, adjust the you know the settings to give you a better display of the rev counter as such but i kind of like i'll just leave it on this one really but another annoyance i have with a bike uh which no one likes a winger but you know i'm just going to go through these things if you, you're contemplating buying one of these or whatever uh yeah the the fuel cap when you when you unlock uh, the fuel cap and tilt it back and you put fuel on the bike it does tend to keep me uh, tipping forward i find that a little bit annoying uh but again nothing nothing too major to worry about um yeah no issues try and get across this junction here actually we'll take a yeah we'll go straight over another thing you might have just heard there was uh the brake squeaking <laughs> Now that, that does that every now and then but again it's not a major problem it's got the brembo M m 50s on here as well and the brakes is another another topic 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 of conversation and uh there's nothing behind me those brakes are, honestly the front brake is it's got loads of buy there um we'll do the front and the rear nothing behind yeah they, i'll tell you what that that, that that takes some beating i mean i have rode the speed triple 1200 up the new rs and the rr actually i'll stick a link in the corner somewhere uh if you fancy watching that it's well worth a watch which is the bigger brother of this uh that uh, the 1200 the new rs and again i mean the brakes i think they're the stylema on there stylema whatever you want to call them but um you know these m50s on here <laughs> no problems with them no problems brembo on the rear as well and what this has got as well is the uh the mcs uh master cylinder here on the front so it's adjustable for your 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 ratio and your span your lever span there and uh i mean the ratio yeah you can adjust that by there's a little knob and knob on there hey and you can uh adjust that which would be good for if you were sort of taking the bike on track and you maybe had a bit of brake fade but again this corner here has got to be the worst ever Whoa, it just uh, oh <laughs> but yeah it's great fun all around this bike brilliant i mean you get the revs up there you know you, you get the revs up the front wheel wants to lift the wheelie and the wheelie kicks in you know keeps you in check so uh, you, you're not really got to worry too much about that the rider modes as well you say you've got road rain uh sport user and track i think the user one is uh, the customizable one and uh, I, I generally leave it in sport but you can go in there and change all those about but i kind of just got used to leaving it in, in the 
Oh, let some air in, get in the sport mode. Uh, here comes the sun. Lovely. Thank you. Um, what else could I tell you? Yeah, the looks of the bike. I absolutely love the looks of the bike. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, I was sold on that and the way the bike rode. And uh, again, there is another video on the channel. Actually, before I bought the bike, yeah, I, my uh, ride out review. If you fancy having a look. Yeah, and on that note, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Plenty more bike content coming on the channel. Um, be great to have you along. Uh, I do uh, like ride outs, general ride outs, bike reviews, new models where possible. Um, a few trips here and there. I've actually got a trip coming up. Uh, depending on when you're going to see this video, it might already be on the channel, but uh, I'm in my MotoGP as well, so I've got a couple of rounds of MotoGP coming up uh, over in Spain. One in Jerez and one in Catalonia, Catalan, which is uh, near Barcelona, which I've been before and it's absolutely brilliant. I'll see if I can get some footage of that. Like I say, it might already be on the, on the channel if I have, depending on when you see this video, but it'd be great to have you along consider hitting that subscribe button or another thing hit the like if you like the video give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down if you don't um, hopefully not but <laughs> um, yeah comment below if you've got any comments on uh, or you want to you know ask anything about this bike or, uh, or anything else I, I haven't spoken about um, feel free stick a comment in there below and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you It does become very lively when you get the revs up on on this. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of years ago. I mean, I, when I used to ride with two strokes, and I've been riding bikes since God, since the 80s. Um, I think my first bike was a a Yamaha RD50 two-stroke, <laughs> and uh, that's where it all started back in the early, well, in the late 80s, early 90s. So. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm diverse a little bit there. So, fuel, not really an issue with the fuel on this bike. Um, I put super unleaded in, or the higher octane fuel in. I don't generally put the new, uh, or the E10 in. I just find, um, there's a few studies I think that have been done, and not I don't really notice it, but you, you, you get sort of more miles to the gallon. I think it's a bit more friendlier, maybe to your, your engine. Um, but yeah. Plenty of, you're not forever filling this bike up either. It's got a fair size fuel tank. Um, no issues with that. It's not, it's not ridiculously juicy, and I'm not, I'm not really too worried about that anyway. But it's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, like I say, you're not always finding yourself at the filling station. Let's slow down a bit. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you? Uh, service interval. Yeah, the first service has been done. Second service is at 10,000 mile, which I haven't had done yet. Or a year which does annoy me a little bit because yeah I don't, I don't clock up anywhere near that amount of miles and uh, I just think yeah there's no maybe no rush for the for the second service uh, not so I've done about 2,500 600 mile and uh, yeah it will go in for a service you get a spanner light come up on the on display there that's the annoying bit here and I don't think you can uh, physically disable that yourself let me know if you can in the comments again be interested to know your thoughts um, but I think it's essentially got to be plugged in by the ooh, bit of a bump there by the by the dealer to clear that fault. So uh, yeah, um, what else can I tell you? Switch gear very easy to use, very simple, very straightforward. Um, nice little horn there. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, not a kill switch there on the right hand side. No issues. Home button hazards. All it's all very very easy. Um, but overall a very good quality well built motorcycle uh, you know there's no expense fared on this it's all high end components all the attention to detail is absolutely brilliant and uh, again with all Triumph models I'm a, I'm a, I am a big sort of Triumph Triumph fanboy really um, yeah electronics have got your back as well uh, sometimes I do find them a little bit um, I don't know a little bit uh, intrusive but yeah I mean they're there for a reason aren't they I suppose I do, I do I must admit I do like 
also like the thought of uh, you know no electronics even sometimes but uh, yeah it's got the the anti-wheelie tied in with your traction control as well so you can't separate those two which is uh, can be a little bit annoying but I'm no I'm no wheelie king you know this I'm, I'm happy with this uh, <laughs> the front wheel coming up yeah a little bit now and then and uh, the electronics have them back there so yeah but it is a very exciting bike to ride ticks a lot of boxes for me hence why I bought the bike um, but good brakes good handling soaks up the bends and uh, can't really moan too much um, night time the lights are very good not that I really go out at night uh, again there is another video on the channel if uh, oh if you, fa if you fancy that uh, looking at that where I take the bike out and I you know demonstrate the lights and the and the uh, the TFT there so uh, feel free I say plenty of videos on the channel be great to have you along uh, what else can I tell you comfort comfort very comfortable there um, nice height no nice seat height for me as well I'm five foot seven with uh, I think about 32 inch uh, well trouser leg anyway so I can flat foot this I'm not the tallest of people I can I can flat foot this bike and uh, no no problems no problems um, yeah anyway comfort very comfortable bike the seat you know I can quite easily go out for a good couple of hours ride and not have any any issues there at all actually the rear the rear seat you get with a bike as well but you get a seat cowl cover looks a bit more sporty uh, with that on and I don't generally take anyone on the back anyway I'm not a massive lover actually of taking people on the back of bikes or oh, I'm not a lover of going on of uh, riding on the back of pillion as well on a you know on other bikes uh, never really have been I think my mate scared me when I was about 17 16 17 and he he took me on the back of his RD 350 YPVS Yamaha and uh, scared the life out of me actually <laughs> back in the day so yeah and that would be some sort of bike to own now I don't even know you could get a hold of one that'd be some bike that would I'd love to have a go on one as well actually just to sort of compare uh, you know bikes from um, that sort of era really uh, so there was some cracking bikes about in in, in them days <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sounding I'm making myself self feel old here <laughs> but yeah anyway uh, colour go back to the bike again the color of the bike I, I absolutely love this color I think it's called silver ice this one silver ice metallic um, hello sir and uh, yeah I'm a, I'm a massive lover of this color and this color scheme as well I know sometimes Triumph bikes they come across as a bit a bit bland a bit boring you know but I think this is this is fine this um, yeah they've actually got some some lovely bikes in their range uh, you know at the moment Triumph and, and the existing bikes you know, a lot of them a lot of them I have actually test rode and there is video videos on the channel if you fancy having a look but I'll just find this one the you know it does tick a lot of my boxes this one so uh, no plans at the moment in uh, swapping her on moving her on at the moment anyway you can uh, spec this bike out as well to uh, let's slow down a bit here to your you know tailor it to your own requirements as well you can put strobing in indicators on there's lots of lots and lots of things you can do I've got a tail tidy on the rear as well um, we'll pull over up here and I'll get you a walk around of the bike and uh, yeah show you some of the a lot of you know some of the things that I, I, I really like about this 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 bike um, oh little rat just ran across the road there I think if it had been a bit later it might have been a bit of a bit of a, uh, a sad sad event for him <laughs> um, yeah in sport mode the, the bike like I said I generally leave it in sport mode but I find the throttle uh, you know it's not snatchy it's not a problem there maybe it's because I've just got used to the the, uh, the bike itself but cool she just handles lovely but yeah, we'll pull in just here, and I'll uh, 
hopefully not in the way of anybody. But yeah, I mean, what is there not to like about this bike? It's got the Brembos, full Brembos. I love the styling of the bike as well. Absolutely lovely. Olin's on the rear there. Like I said, I've not adjusted those. Um, show on the front there. What does annoy me, and I will say it, and I've said it before, it's these, these um, plastic reflectors. They need to stick them on straight, and I, yeah, I know I can pull them off if I want to, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't have to do stuff like that. Should you really? You shouldn't have to do things like that. Tail tidy on there as well. That was put on uh, by the dealers. I think it's about just over £100 for, for the tail tidy. It's got a lovely um, rear end there. Ooh, lovely rear end. I mean, look at that. I absolutely love that. Tyres, super coarse tyres. Very sticky. Not boxed off at all. It's nice to go around the twisties. Uh, try and get on the edge of the tyre a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, this is the cover I was talking about here as well. So you get this cover on the bike as well. There is a toolkit under there. Actually, I can show you. I'll turn it off. Ugh. Get the key in there. So yeah, underneath there you got your tools. There's actually a tool missing here. I think it's to adjust the suspension, you know, to get to uh, adjust just in there so if you have got one of these bikes I'd suggest removing this because it does fall out it's fallen out and it's uh yeah probably ended up siphoning on the road and whatever but you get minimal tools here very minimal tools a few allen keys and a you know a, a, a screwdriver set there well I say set not really room in there I've got my glasses case in there uh you get your big mac uh but yeah well your your uh your happy meal in there your mcdonald's breakfast also under here as well You've got a USB charging port there, which is handy, if you can see that there. I've not actually used that, so, so yeah. Right, let's jump on. Make sure that's clicked into place. But yeah, this is the filler cap, which it does annoy me a little bit. It does keep falling back. So I could probably bend that a little bit, but I don't really want to, you shouldn't have to. Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying, but there you go. That's a minor, a minor thing really, right, let's turn her on, wait for it to spring spring into life there, uh, what's the mileage, it should come up in a minute, it doesn't display it for very long, 2,742 miles, so yeah, that's now flicked into night mode there as well, so it's in night mode, you can actually change that to, to, to disable that if you wanted to, but, right, and the, the heated grips are going back off again because I've turned the bike off so we'll turn them back on here we go but yeah she's very lively in sport in uh, in sport mode no issues great fun especially around these twisty roads anyway You get that front wheel just hovering <laughs> and the electronics keeping you in check, which I love. Uh, looks like someone's chucked a bag of crisps out the car. Oh, very nice. Yeah, she is very lively. A lovely day today, lovely scenery there. You see the, the, the cliff there, the dunes there, the, for the, the beach is just there on the east coast. But yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me. Just a quick ride out and discussing like my uh, first year and a half ownership of the, the Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. So, uh, yeah, take care. See you soon.